Hunt Showdown is a competitive first-person bounty hunting game in which the ultimate task is to survive long enough against other bounty hunters to reach an extraction point. Starting the game from complete scratch can be little exhausting. Hence, in this video I've got some beginner tips that will help you get started in the game. Extractions become a hotspot for PvP, creating ideal third-party scenarios. As long as enemies are present, the extraction timer remains paused. Always plan your route carefully, considering the common occurrence of ambushes at extraction points. Clear the area to avoid being cornered at the game's end. After collecting your bounty, use Dark Sight to spot enemy hunters. Ensure the coast is clear before reaching the extraction point, especially considering the mandatory 30-second wait. Once you have the NPC items, proceed to the extraction point and scout the area beforehand or consider waiting at an extraction point if others have already taken down the enemy you were hunting. In some cases, speed is crucial, so gather information first to determine if all players are in the boss area. If they are, run to the extraction point swiftly, letting them fight amongst themselves while you make your escape. Surviving the hunt requires you focus on acquiring meds, so equipping a first aid kit and vitality shot should be the top priority. Additionally, choosing the doctor trait, which enhances effectiveness by restoring two health bars. In encounters with triplets, the ability to regenerate health becomes crucial, especially in squad battles, where prolonged fights are common. A hunter comes with three health bars, each representing 50 points, can benefit from using a weak vitality shot to restore a full bar, half of another, and the rest automatically. This not only saves resources, but allows for carrying more weak vitality shots, enhancing survival chances. Throughout the map, you can locate ammo boxes for extended fights, as well as melee weapons, lanterns, and traps for building defense. To be a successful hunter, prioritize taking first aid kits, a knife, and molotovs into each match. These essentials, along with two weapons, form the core loadout for navigating the challenges of the hunt. These considerations, combined with a well-equipped loadout and strategic gameplay, contribute to a successful and survivable hunting experience. The game offers a diverse arsenal, ranging from shotguns to crossbows, providing players with ample options for intense fights. Trying out various weapon types is crucial, as it not only adds variety but also reveals new playstyles, be it a newfound ranged combat or the close encounters. Each game is unique, with some featuring extensive battles while others may lack any confrontation. To adapt to these dynamic situations, understanding your playstyle and strategy is essential. For those who relish sniping, the potent sniper with its 200 meters plus one-shot kill range is ideal, though it can only hold one bullet at a time. If versatility is your goal, the Mosin M1891 stands out as a top choice, while the crossbow is your best companion if you wish to play a more stealth-type gameplay. Meanwhile, players favoring an aggressive approach will find the Mosin Aftermat, with its two-burst kill capability, to be a thrilling option. So, choosing the right weapon hinges on a combination of personal style and strategic considerations. The damage you deal in the game depends greatly on where you hit the enemy. Head, chest, and limbs all have distinct damage values. Headshots are particularly potent, ensuring a swift elimination compared to hits on other body parts. Keep in mind that the effectiveness of your shots diminishes with distance, so shooting from afar means less damage. If you're using a rifle, the key to a one-shot kill is a precise headshot due to reduced damage at range. To prevent a downed player from being revived, you must resort to burning them. Without this, downed players become impervious to further damage. You can set them ablaze by using fire, gradually depleting their health. Though it's worth remembering that a teammate can intervene and cancel the burn effect by initiating a revive. Also, an important thing to remember is that bullets can pierce through walls. Larger caliber rounds exhibit minimal damage reduction when passing through surfaces, making the tactic of hiding behind walls less effective. So, for enhanced defense against enemy gunfire, opt for cover made of brick and stone rather than sheet metal and wood.
You possess a very limited supply of ammunition, but the Mashi proves efficient in dispatching basic foes with just a few swings. The game offers diverse ammo types, including custom ammo, which comprises incendiary, poisonous, or full metal jacket bullets, each with its own pros and cons. Incendiary and poisonous ammo can be strategically employed against special enemies, while full metal jacket projectiles boast exceptional penetration power capable of piercing thick walls. However, using these specialized ammunitions may come at the cost of reduced damage or a diminished weapon range. You have the flexibility to carry two different ammo variants, allowing you to switch to normal ammunition as needed. Furthermore, if you carry both a main and a secondary weapon of the same caliber, their ammunition reserves are combined. This consolidation becomes crucial, especially during prolonged positional combat, preventing the risk of running out of ammunition. This strategy is particularly advantageous for weapons with large caliber, since they typically have minimal ammo supply. It's essential to manage your resources wisely to ensure sustained effectiveness in battle. In the game, the world you explore is like a puzzle. There are smart ways to enter places, shortcuts to take, and advantages to using the high or low ground. To succeed, you need to understand the surroundings. You can use things like oil pools or burning lamps to create obstacles for your enemies, or you can put out the fire to leave a trap for later. Being sneaky is important, especially when approaching a tough opponent. Move quietly from one hiding spot to another until you reach your goal or find a good hiding place. And if your character wears dark clothes, like the headsman or the reptilian, it helps you stay hidden better. For an extra trick, set up alert trip mines near barrels. When an enemy comes close, the barrels explode, giving you an advantage and the location of the enemy too. I hope this list of tips help you when just starting out. If you've got any tips you'd like pass along, share it with us in the comments. I'll see you all in the next video.